I unlatched the small brass lock and flipped open the broad lid. It was worse than a crown, actually. Built into the box were compartments and sleeves and holders, all full of brushes and paints and charcoal and sheets of paper. A traveling painting kit. Red. The red paint inside the glass vial was so bright. The blue as stunning as the eyes of that fairy woman I'd slaughtered. I thought you might want to take it around the grounds with you, rather than lug all those bags like you always do. The brushes were fresh, gleaming, the bristles soft and clean. Looking at that box, at what was inside, felt like examining a crow-picked corpse. I tried to smile, tried to will some brightness to my eyes. You don't like it? No, no, it's wonderful. And it was. It really was. I thought if you started painting again... I waited for him to finish. He didn't. My face heated. And what about you? Will the paperwork help with anything at all? I dared meet his eyes. Temper flared in them. We're not talking about me. We're talking about you. I studied the box and its contents again. Will I even be allowed to roam where I wish to paint? Or will there be an escort too? Silence. A no and a yes then. I began shaking. For me. For us. Tamlin... Tamlin, I can't... I can't live my life with guards around me day and night. I can't live with that suffocation. Just let me help you. Let me work with you. You've given enough, Feyre. I know, but... I faced him, met his stare, the full power of the High Lord of the Spring Court. I'm harder to kill now. I'm faster, stronger... My family was faster and stronger than you, and they were murdered quite easily. Then marry someone who can put up with this. He blinked, slowly. Do you not want to marry me, then? I tried not to look at the ring on my finger, at that emerald. Of course I do. Of course I do. But you... Tamlin... The walls pushed in on me. The quiet, the guards, the stairs. What I'd seen at the tithe today. I'm drowning. I am drowning. And the more you do this, the more guards... You might as well be shoving my head under the water. Nothing in those eyes, that face. But then instinct took over, and his power (gasps) blasted through the room. The windows shattered, the furniture splintered, and that box of paints and brushes and paper, it exploded into dust and glass and wood. One breath, the study was intact. The next, it was shards of nothing. A shell of a room, 